overflows. Identity crisis, psychological attributes. First, the sutras. Name dvesh rago, name lumo. Name dvesh rago, name lumo. Madhu naiv, me naiv. Matsarya bhava Madho naiv me naiv Matsarya bhava Na dharmo na chartho Na kamo na moksha Na dharmo na chartho Na kamo na moksha Chidanand rupa Shivoham shivoham Chidanand Rupa Shivoham Chivoham Name Dvesh Raghav Name Logu Mohu Madho Naiv Me Naiv Matsarya Bhava Na Dharmo Na Chartho Na Kamo Na Moksha Chidanand Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Na Punyam Na Papam Na Saukhyam Na Dukhyam Na Punyam Na Papam Na Saukhyam Na Dukhyam Na Mantro Na Tirtham Na Veda Na Yagya Na Mantro Na Tirtham Naveda na yagya aham bhojanam naiv Aham bhojanam naiv bhojyam na bhokta Aham bhojanam naiv bhojyam na bhokta Chidanand rupa shivoham chivoham Chidanand rupa Shivoham Shivoham Na Punyam Na Papam Na Saukhyam Na Dukhyam Na Mantro Na Tirtham Na Veda Na Yagya Aham Bhojanam Na Eva Bhojam Na Bhokta Chidanand Rupa Shivoham Shivoham our true self is Satchitanand, ever-existing, eternal, ever-consciousness, ever-bliss. Generally, this true self remains be covered with layers, bio, psycho and social layers. And we always attribute these as our real identity. Either we are identified with biological attributes or psychological attributes or social attributes and then we forget who we are really. The biological attributes as I am a strong, I am short, I am fat, I am tall etc. Psychological attributes like I am genius, I am dull, I am emotional, I am rational. Social attributes like I am father, I am teacher, I am son, I am a doctor, I am a politician, I am a Hindu, Muslim, Christian, I am, a I am German, I am Indian, so on and so forth. These and then there is an aggregate of all these put together. You do not say that I am fat. I am a fat doctor, a German doctor. So all these are put together. Nirvan, as this is known as Nirvan Shatkam, is very difficult to describe. Yet effort has been made to describe it. Then what is the best way to describe? 
by denying I am not this, I am not this, but what I am, that is indescribable. I am neither man nor woman. I am neither fat nor thin. Then what am I? Beyond these. If you can imagine what is beyond male and female, that I am. I am not the body, not the mind, nor intellect, nor the ego sense, nor the identity crisis. Then what are you? The ever blissful consciousness, Satchidanan. That is defined, that is explained by the single word Shivoham. Shiva, Aham. Aham means I am. Shiva. Shivo Aham. Shiva Aham. I am Shiva. So this is Nirvan means freedom. Freedom from bondage. Freedom from duality. Freedom from all that covers our true self. It is duality that beclouds human cognition. When you are free from all bondages, that state is known as formless. You are this, you are that. When you transcend, then it is formless. An enlightenment is that you experience your formless state and then you can live as that. You have realized who you are truly. Then you can enter into the realm of eating and the other all other activities that you have to perform as a human being and the entire composition of Nirvana Shatkam is described, explains this particular aspect. I am neither this nor that. So words go into pairs. Papam and Punyam. Pap means virtues. Punyam means the Papam means sin. Punyam means virtue. Sin and virtue go together. Day and night go together. Heat and cold go together. So all these words that stay together, I am neither this nor that. But your mind cannot understand this because mind always wants to do something. Mind wants to be on one side. It is a one-track mind. It cannot see beyond the duality. If I ask you, you know what is darkness, you know what is light. But if I ask you what is beyond, I am neither light nor darkness, then you want to know what it is. Are you confusing me? Or you seem to be confused. But that is what the reality is. That is what truth is. Truth cannot be described in the words. It is beyond words. It is a belongs to the wordless realm. Then you would think, oh, something super. Then not super, something emptiness. You are asking the question, something it looks like then something super. Oh, not super. Oh, as emptiness, not emptiness. Nothingness? Oh no, not nothingness. That is what is being conveyed through the Nirvana Shatkam. Shankar is explaining, trying to describe his true identity and he encompasses everything that comprise, that you consider comprise you. The breath, the life force, the different types of breath because each breath works in a certain part of the body, like Apan, Saman, Udan, Vayan. Where does Saman work? Which part of the body Saman works? Which part of the body Udan works? Which part of the body Vayan works? All this is by itself to be encompassed, to be explained. Once I am finished with this initial explanation, then I will go into details of each sutra so that it gets into you, embedded into you deeply. So that is what is conveyed through Nirvana Shatkam. It is, it takes you beyond the duality. Duality of 
द्वेष कॉन्फ्लिक्ट राग लोभ ग्रीड मो अटैचमेंट सो ग्रीड एंड अटैचमेंट गोज टू गैदर देन द्वेष इन वी एंड एवरीथिंग हैज अपोजिट टू इट एंड दैट कंप्राइज एंड इट इज बियॉन्ड दैट सो वेन वी गो न मे द्वेष रागो द्वेष रागो neither i have hatred nor attachment so they go together neither do i have hatred nor attachment neither greed nor infatuation neither do i have pride nor the feeling of envy and jealousy i am not within the bounds of dharma when it says there न धर्मो न चार्थो न कामो न मोक्ष अकॉर्डिंग टू सनातन संस्कृति फॉर एट्रीब्यूट्स आर गिवन धर्म राइचुअसनेस अर्थ अर्थ वेल्थ काम डिजायर एंड मोक्ष लिबरेशन दीज थ्री यू हैव टू इस्टैब्लिश राइचुअसनेस wealth how wealth should under the influence of righteousness you have wealth it has to be used within the boundaries within the norms within the guiding principles of righteousness and then comes desire it does not deny that you do not engage into those thing but it all has to be within the guided guiding principles of righteousness and then the fourth liberation happens on its own so he denies na dharmo na chartho na kamo na moksha neither i am righteous affected by righteousness no the wealth na desire no liberation nothing of this i am not bound by any of these dharma arth kaam moksha these are the four purusharths of life or ways of life then who am i i am ever pure blissful consciousness i am shivo ham Sh- when you break this shivo shiva aham i am shiva i am shiva ever pure blissful consciousness there is no like or dislike in me no greed or delusion i know not pride or jealousy of any kind towards any human being i have no duty no desire no wealth no lust or liberation i am the form of consciousness pure and sublime i am eternal shiva the next sutra says na punyam punya means merits pap means sin so na punyam na papam neither merits no sins na saukhyam na dukkham neither worldly joys nor sorrows neither am i bound by sacred hymns of the scriptures nor by sacred places you want to visit this holy place and so neither of these i am neither the enjoyer nor the enjoyment nothing there i am ever blissful consciousness i am shiva i need no mantra no pilgrimage no scripture no rituals i am not experienced nor the experience self i am the form of consciousness and bliss i am eternal i am shiva thus will continue the explanation of attributes of nirvana enough for now